Good morning, my favorite people. Today marks the first whole day of London Fashion Week for me. And actually, I have so much to tell you. I will update you in a second. I got up at 6.30, did my makeup, did some like power through emails and um, updated myself on everything that needed updating. Today, I wanted to start this video with a room tour. While it's still tidy, I organized really well last night and then I will update you on everything that's going to take place and everything that'll be going on. So, I am staying at the Mayfair Hotel, you guys, and this is honestly one of the most stunning, massive rooms I have ever had during the fashion week, not during the fashion week, like of all times. It's a duplex, as you guys can see, and I have organized this so nicely. Oh, hold on, I haven't shown you upstairs. So upstairs, we have a very messy bed i slept so well over there last night it's like a little cocoon and you're just up there and it's really nice and then i got some spotlight on so the shadows are quite strong this is the main part i have unpacked last night or i tried to unpack i have a lot of new things on this rail and i'm gonna try and do some kind of like styling video or some sort of i don't know try on video i'm not sure like i'm gonna figure out what i can do while i'm in london and then i will deliver for you guys i have some of my handbags over here these are the ones that i brought with me for london uh, fashion week i have two new by far handbags so this beautiful white one i will try and find it and link it below and this purple one which is basically my absolute favorite one love it these two you know uh, the prada one you saw in new york and look at this bottega this is actually alone i love it so much it's stunning and then there's like i said a lot of clothes a lot of shoes there this is my little accessories corner i haven't unpacked it all there's a lot more <laughs> over there but these are kind of the main ones that i will probably gravitate towards the most i just put my multi pochette accessories there last night so yesterday i arrived and there were so many nice packages waiting here for me so haven't actually managed to unbox them yet but i will try and do that some of these i'll probably unbox on my stories and some of them for the video later on when henry comes to help me i will show you all one thing you need to know is that if you watched my new york fashion week you probably know that at the moment i don't have help uh well i don't have help in new york and london because of the um circumstances like of the family situation that happened to my assistant but nina is coming to help me in milan so things will change at least in london i have the remainder of the team over here i have also some of the headbands which will actually pop i should probably put them where the accessories are over here i have two prada ones and over here i have two jennifer bear ones i will as well try and find the link for them they were gifted to me by the brand so yeah a lot of really cute packages these beautiful flowers were my valentine's day gift from louboutin beauty team like how kind beautiful and i got some champagne as well from the hotel that's about it i have a few pairs of sunglasses here not many though and some like other accessories over here look at this meg fridge i have a little toilet over here and then a stunning bathroom in here like how beautiful is this so here you can see what are my like kind of favorite products for fashion week this is like what's going to be basically traveling with me most of this time i've got my laura mercier pure canvas primer which is the illuminating one then the flawless, flawless um, radiance perfecting foundation i have my nars concealer this is always great for spots in macadamia uh, the ysl uh, eyeshadow base this is like a really cool charlotte tilbury palette because it has like face cheek everything i bring this on the go it's great also from Laura Mercier I have this I love so much this is the indiscretion face illuminator and then I have two bronzers and guess what they are the same I love them so much I have my uh, Louboutin eyeshadows I love both of these I use this one every single day it's the one in Morganite Morganite and then I've got this one in Carnelian I think Carnelian yeah I love the both the eyeliner the Becca champagne pop <sighs> I have so many things over here as well some brow things, this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara, also have Louboutin Mascara, 
depending on different needs. I need to get ready now because I really need to get my hair done. I gave it a little break because I had my hair done every single day in New York, as you guys could have seen, but decided to give it a little break now because, well, I'm gonna go and have a blow dry done today. Okay, so small little update on everything that's going on and everything that's going to take place is that yesterday I arrived in London I am super excited, obviously, like they came straight to the hotel to check in, I think less than two months until I'm going to have a permanent address in London, actually, but um, yeah, I'll talk about that a bit later. I arrived, I had five meetings yesterday, so it was kind of more of a meeting day because I kind of ignored the jet lag. There is no time to be jet lagged or tired or whatever. So I went straight into the meetings. I had meetings yesterday with my absolute favorite brands. I can't say very much. If you followed me on the stories on the first day, you probably saw that one of the brands was Admar Piquet, which is the watch brand that I love. And yeah, I honestly cannot even tell you how great the start of London Fashion Week was, especially seeing all of those brands that like, I felt were very unique to me and are kind of like I'm trying like we're trying really to do as a team completely like different things and separate things to what everyone is doing and you know like to go everywhere everyone is going so that's just I want to do only what I really really love and that's what how I started and what I've been always doing so it's very important for me to continue in the same way mm -hmm. ended the night at a temporary presentation and then went for dinner but today i have a few shows i have toga and uh, david coma i am gonna get my hair first done at 9 30 because i mean it's never been longer but it's just a bit like random shape i'm gonna get my hair done i'm gonna try to get my nails done because there is no more polish on them like to have gel nail polish during fashion week is just so much easier for maintenance i am going to so do those two shows gonna have a shoot i have like a snazziest lamborghini hurricane spider evo this fashion week and i will show that to you very soon like honestly it's like the most insane thing i've ever seen in my life it's incredible and that's more or less it for today so the two shows i also want to have like a drainage massage uh, one of those and like Brazilian drainage massages. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those, but just because I've been flying quite a bit more than I wanted to lately, I feel like I need to kind of boost my lymphatic and drainage system. So yeah, if I manage to squeeze that in, I'll let you know. Um, tomorrow I also have a few shows, Monday as well, a lot of fittings for Milan Fashion Week as well, and Paris, because the moment I go to Milan, I actually don't come back before the end of Paris. So that's about it. Now I have to go, the car is coming to pick me up in 15 minutes. First hello from my fabulous Lamborghini. I got so overwhelmed with how stunning it is that I forgot to show you me getting inside. But it's the most beautiful orange color and it almost matches my bag, I mean. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. So let's enjoy this short ride to my hairdressers and hopefully enjoy some sound. Okay guys, first appointment of the day, you can see my stunning Lamborghini here. Isn't this insane? Like everywhere we go, people are staring at this car, but it's amazing. I'll give you like a thorough car tour later, but we're now going to, wow, it's like crazy. Hershey's Sons now for a hair appointment. Honestly guys, I had no idea how fabulous this place is in the middle of Berner Street. They have like a lot of products here as well. Obviously all my favorite Kara Styles products there. And I'm kind of even contemplating getting my nails done because they have my favorite drive-by. This is the before, as you can see. And hopefully you will see the after very soon and it will be amazing. I think my main concern is like the way that like when my hair dries naturally, the body is really nice. But the bits over here and inside, over around my ears, they dry very curly but here it dries very curly and i don't like that okay this is why i love the radiance primer illuminating primer from laura mercier look at the glow it does not look greasy it's just glowy so nice my hair is done i'm super loving it it was done by david and now i'm gonna go and try and get my nails done because 
they urgently needed. I'm in a bit of a rush. This is my first look of the day. Hopefully I'll have a cool picture to show you. Actually, I'm not gonna wear this bag. I need to style it somehow differently, but I've got a total Prada look and Bottega shiny shoes. Okay guys, I am heading to Toga. I've changed my look as you could have seen. I have to up for a little Prada nylon bag. I'm running late, but hopefully there's no better, better way to be running late than with a Lamborghini. And hopefully we'll make it on time. So let's give our best. I'm back at the Mayfair. I had my lunch, breakfast, and everything uh, in my Lambo. I mean, there are worse places that I've eaten before in my life. Two pictures of this outfit at the Spitfields Market. I'll insert a picture now. I'm gonna change quickly just the coat because I don't have much time. I have two appointments. One is lunch with the girls, even though I've already eaten. I'm just gonna have coffee and more like a catch up. I was starving, I couldn't wait for any longer. And I was worried that I'm gonna rush eat when I arrived there. So I'm just gonna have a coffee with the girls. It's a whole house. And that's, I think, about it. Then I have this appointment with Flavia uh, for the massage, like the lymph massage. Lymph drainage massage. Am I going to the right place? I'm not going to the right place. This happens all the time. And then I am going to David Coma's show and I'll be already dressed, so everything should be fine. Okay, guys, quick change of the look. I've got this trench from Khaleesi, super shoulder padded. I have my little bag over here from by far. I was gonna wear these boots, but now that I look at it, it looks a little bit too um, emo. I'm gonna change them for high heels. Okay, this is so much better. It's a bit cooler now as well. Love this look, very colorful today. Let's go. We're at the Soho house. The girls are having um, <laughs> lunch, but I cannot <laughs> film here. It's illegal, like, <laughs> it's not allowed, right? Who are you talking about? My YouTube followers who love Yanka. <laughs> And I love you. Nina's here as well. Okay, I actually have to leave you girls. Okay guys, I'm back in the car. We're now heading to the Glow Bar where I am going to be meeting uh, Flavia and I will be telling you a little bit about that when we get there. My shoulders are so big and so padded, it's crazy. It's just, oh, did I forget to remove something? No, it's a shoulder pad. Crazy. And then heading to David Como show, Rick's presentation and then I've had enough for today. <laughs> That's basically the plan for the Okay, how cool is this? I'm like obsessed. Hey guys, I'm gonna meet Flavia. Are you gonna tell me and my followers what this is about? Because I this is the first time is I'm it? going to get lymph lymphatic drainage. Lymphatic drainage. That's so what lymphatic about. drainage is really good to detox your mm -hmm. body and to get rid of your water retention okay. toxins. So that's what I need. I just yes. flew from New York. Oh, that's amazing after flights actually. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean your body and make you feel light as a feather and then you're gonna be ready to glow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's start. Your lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. Your lymph nodes are the glands responsible to collect all the water and toxins from your body. Okay. So how do we retain water? We retain water most of the time for lack of water intake. Mm -hmm, which I'm guilty of. Ah, An alcohol intake. Okay. They are the three pops that more make you retain water and mm -hmm. produce toxins. So what I'm doing, I'm stimulating the glands, uh -huh. responsible to collect it, to filter, wow. and to redirect it to your heart, where it's going to be put again back on the bloodstream, filtered by your kidneys, and flush out through your urine. Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Back to when we felt like this was forever. Can I take you there? Okay, not the best lighting. At David Coma right now, me and the half of your eye. No, <laughs> it's a good eye. David Coma is about to start. This is actually quite a flattering night. It is. We don't look so pretty, but now. But it's better because okay. you cannot see the imperfections, you know, because of the backlight. Exactly. The show's about to start. It looks very fabulous. Very small this season. Is this the most beautiful location for a show or what? 
Guys, look at this, the gherkin is here. Leaving this venue. Yes, I have a rig so now. Um, it's getting very windy, the storm is coming. Bini, are you at Rixo? I'm almost arriving. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same goodbye. Okay, Bini. Yeah, I know I know they always have like a massive thing with like drinks and food, right? Okay, Bini. I'm on my way. See you soon. Bye. Okay, this is pretty fabulous. Now let's try and find my sassy friends who are somewhere here. We'll be shining past the brightest light Just like gold Just like gold Believe in we can Guys, done with fashion activities for today I felt like it was a long day even though a lot of the activities I really enjoyed such as the lymphatic drainage, getting the hair done and my nails are nice and painted I am going to enjoy evening with my friends I feel like I really need like friends in evening kind of thing not in actually first my friend Branko is gonna come over he's not a social media person he's coming in a moment and then I am gonna go out to Annabelle's with my friends uh, you can't really film there so i'm not gonna vlog it and i'm just gonna relax enjoy time with the girls i don't know why am i so breathless apparently it's supposed to be like we are supposed to have this storm dennis coming over tonight so i don't know how that's gonna be but annabelle is just like around the corner from where i'm staying so i really do not mind going out tonight so yeah let's go and relax Good evening, madam. You should have your ears here. Oh my god, is the, you're so you. tanned. I'm so jealous. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay, guys, should we do a little unboxing? Blanco, where's my Chanel? I'm immediately unboxing my Trinity Bottle. Unacceptable. It's okay. Guys, I got this so long ago. So long ago. I don't even remember when. But this is when I get it. It's not really much of an unboxing, but. And the way I want to wear it is kind of very special. You know how I want to wear it, right? It's like a, what do you call it? Like a hair clip? It's very kind of like, it's kind of beige. You know what I mean when I say it? It's not like a spectacular piece. It's very commercial piece, but I love it. I think it's beautiful. But I wouldn't really wear it just like this, you know? Or whatever. Like, whatever. I'm not going to wear it like this. I'm going to get a bow like a black satin bow and then i'm gonna clip it through the bow like you know the fat part i'm gonna clip through here and then i'm gonna put it like at the back of the hair amazing you seem revolutionary. so revolutionary i love it i am a revolutionary no i'm just kidding i'm not really you know what i mean how did you like my brother jacket did you try it i love it no, I it's a men's it. jacket let me see you try it i love it when my friends come over and they try my clothes it looks so good on you thank you I love it. I oh, it? you look so fabulous. You can have anything you want. Maybe not with that Jack Moose bag. No, no, I'm okay. Are you hungry? No. I offered him champagne. I offered him food. I eat? Offer, of course, baby. <laughs> I offered him everything. He doesn't want anything. He's just looking at the clothes. So yeah, now we're going to catch up. Then I'm going to have a bath. And then I'm going to get ready. Is it too much? No. Too much color? Never. Never I think it's definitely too much. You know like the horrible friend? <laughs> you know like the horrible friend? Try it on! That's so beautiful! What are you doing? What are you doing? wearing a Ronnie Kobo little number. It's got padded shoulders, cleavage, but you can't really see anything. Well, in my cleavage you can't see anything. Sort of like hourglass shape, polka dots. And I know my like loyal followers will be like, Didn't you say you don't like polka dots? And still not my favorite pattern, let me just say it that way. I find like it's a little bit childish. Because maybe like when I was a child my mom wore it so much, it was that time. So now it kind of also reminds me of my mom. Which is not so bad, but you know when something reminds you of your mom. Guys, I didn't bring my vlogging camera because I was not gonna vlog tonight. Because we're just going out, having fun. I arrived to Annabelle's and Nina's... Wait, what do I call him? <laughs> Is this too early for a boyfriend question? <laughs> Nina's male friend. <laughs> male friend. I love it. And he's very fit and handsome man. So we're thinking he's gonna, because I live so close, that he's gonna be able to fit in one of my jeans. So we're going back <laughs> to my room to see if he's gonna be able to wear some of the jeans so that our night is saved. Is saved and we can go to Annabelle's. Yeah. Mission solved. 
Fuck, babe, you are a star. Look Happy? I, but so these so jeans happy. look better on you than they look on me. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> Honestly, maybe you should just keep them. It's like... I'm literally offended. Now we can go out because I'm really in a need of drink. Good morning, guys. It's second whole day in London at Mayfair Hotel. I woke up this morning later than I thought. I woke up around 8. I wanted to wake up at 6.30. How optimistic of me. I stayed last night so late. We went out to Annabelle's, like, as you guys could see. Stayed till 2.30. I didn't actually drink, but I was so dehydrated because I didn't feel like drinking because I was so dehydrated because I needed to drink more for the lymphatic massage to work. And I feel really great today. Really good and I feel good, but I'm so tired because I stayed out late and I shouldn't have maybe done that during Fashion Week, but I loved it. It was so much fun. Like just kind of hanging out with my friends and not thinking about anything. It was really, really fun. Around 15 minutes until, oh, more like five until I have to be down and I'm not really dressed. I'm very casual, as you can see. This was my look for the breakfast because um, I just had my porridge. And now I'm gonna go to see Preen show, then I have a facial later on. I also have a fitting for the Tommy Hilfiger show, I have a Tommy show tonight, and I have a few appointments throughout the day. Yeah, I have like a long shoot as well of three hours, so I'm gonna have to push through today somehow. Okay, here's the outfit of this morning. Yeah. I've got the Gucci trousers on. Finally wearing these trousers. I know you guys love them, but I never got a chance to wear them. I got an incredible... Oh. Nanushka coat. I love it. I'm gonna try and shoot it and then feature it so you guys can see it. Let's go. Structured um, jackets and waist posts. Okay. And did you see the pixel jumpsuits? I saw the yes. Not I, jumpsuits, sorry, it's like jumpers. The jumpers, yes. Yeah, I saw really that. Cool. And I saw the like um, like disco jackets, like you know the disco uh, lapel. Yeah. It's, like, it's raining. The weather's horrible. And yeah. Car. We're just being really very optimistic because we're wearing sunglasses and it's raining. Yeah, my sunglasses are wet. You can't. So is mine. Can you tell? Anyway, let's go. Okay, it's pizza time with my girls. That's what happens. So yummy. After a night out, it's so yummy. necessary. It's just arrived after a lunch break with my friends. I arrived at Cafe Royale where I'm gonna have a Tommy Hilfiger fitting. I'm just waiting for the lady to come to escort me to the room. They have like a special suite here, so. Let's choose a look. Okay, this is gonna be a fun one to choose. Something very cool for the show. Tommy showroom is always like incredible, you guys. There's so much to choose. My look is so different, more different to anything else that you would have seen. But I think you're gonna like it. Okay, guys, I haven't updated you a lot today because uh, we were shooting for three hours after the Tommy fitting. I didn't want to spoil what the content you guys will see. Um, you're just gonna, I'm gonna insert some pictures that I have already published here, but the rest you have to go and check out on my Instagram. That's the plan. We're now in my fabulous Lamborghini arriving at the Tommy Hilfiger show. About to start, I already, I'm still like a fan. Professional. Hi, Carlo. How are you? Are, I'm swapping you. Why are you swapping? Because, like, this is now my father. I'm sorry. I heard you calling. I saw your sleepless face, and I fell hard. I guess I'm falling for you, girl. I can reach the stars. <laughs> I look like shh, I shouldn't swear, but uh, yeah, I look really bad. I am, guys, I just got home and I'm vlogging because I have to finish my vlog. But you're not okay. in it, not in it, definitely not naked. Got home, I removed okay. my makeup. You want some clicks? <laughs> and then you can put as a caption Caroline's ass. No, you know what I'm gonna put as a caption? Naked Caroline Dower in London Fashion Week. Yes! Now the phone is at the bottom, don't worry. You will so, see it, because I'm sure you're like a regular watcher of my YouTube videos. Look. I love this look. Okay, now I'm gonna show this. 
Look, this is going to be yes. Caroline's outfit for tomorrow's Airdam show. I love it. What are you gonna wear? The boots at the bottom? I love it. What bag? But maybe, should I wear like maybe a turtleneck? Oh, this is not a turtleneck. Yes, it would be better turtleneck, but I like a crop. You like the crop? I feel like it's a little bit... Oh, I want to show off. If I had your abs, I would like, oh, I want to show off all the time. Also, like, you're so fit right now, so make the most out of it. Why do I look like right this? Right now. Oh, Guys, so I'm going to go and speak you. to Caroline, and I see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, such a whirlwind of emotions and feelings today because it's technically not the last day of London Fashion Week, but for me it is because on the last day of London Fashion Week I have to head out to Milan. Milan is always the busiest one for me with over, I don't know, I think I do more than 20 shows in Milan Fashion Week. So it gets very intense and um, this season I have more shows than ever. So that's kind of exciting and nice, but at the same time I need like one that extra day to be there to get ready for everything. So, this might show you my look. Oh my God, the mess. The mess is real, but it's not really helping, right? It doesn't matter. Anyway, you can kind of see it. I'm wearing this, I will link everything below. Like this is, um, I think this is a Sakai shorts, me and me top, and Sakai kind of like a parka -y thing. This morning I have a lot of things. I have a Safilo showroom appointment to pick some sunglasses. I have um, Erdem show, Fendi fitting, Dior fitting, etc. Okay guys, I've arrived at Safilo and you guys know the procedure. There's a lot of stuff laid out in front of me and I'm about to try on some sunglasses to choose my favorites. I'm gonna try and see where will I be able to leave the camera so you guys can try on with me. But I'm so excited, I cannot even wait. There's so many pairs I can already tell that I love. Look at these, these are Fendi, right? Yes, I can tell these are Fendi with the chain. Oh no, not with the chain, with the decoration on the side. The Jimmy Choo's are with the chain, these. And then, these were Fendi collab with Gentle Monster. I remember them. Uh, 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 oh, these look so fabulous. I'm gonna wait. I have to try them on. So many nice ones. Look at these Dior ones. So Safilo does all kind of brands from Dior, Fendi. Uh, they do Jimmy Choo, Carrera, um, Max Mara, Givenchy. Um, so many incredible brands and we will try them on together. My favorites, I think. I love this because it's almost like a mask, but it's not, you know? What do you think? Very strong. I could wear this to the Fendi show. And tomorrow makes some of my favorite sunglasses. I don't think they get enough credit for the sunglasses because they are great. Love these so much. They also come in pink, but I decided to go for these in pink. So the Max Mara in blue. I think they're so cool. We're at the Airlam venue with my Look how beautiful Alex's skin is. Alex, people gonna hate us gonna say it's a filter, hashtag Photoshop. <laughs> Never. You can't really Photoshop this. <laughs> so you can see the real deal. Vic and Alex, Airlam is about to start. <laughs> traditional uh, our traditional after air dam coffee I actually have a Fendi fitting to go to and I'm running late and you're running late as well but this is so important Amina Moadi perfection they're, so nice. I'm, Honestly, I'm they're the best you. shoes ever uh, I love do you approve my diet Camilla what are you having <laughs> Almond croissant. You can share. oh wow you know it's my favorite it's my favorite too. I think it's everyone's favorite so yeah unless you're allergic to almonds it's February and uh, we got the roof down because it's a good day and it's so this is just so crazy so beautiful 
it's not raining I'm feeling in a great mood because of the good weather it helps so much off to the Fendi fitting right now very optimistic about kind of some sun like there's some sun right coming slowly but this is so cool you guys I cannot even even like having this car as a toy would be enough like well not enough but would be nice <laughs> All the controls. This looks like operating the plane, but I love it. Okay guys, Fendi fitting done, sneak a peek of the show for Milan Fashion Week and I'm now going to do my Dior fitting for the show in Paris. The best part of it all is that my beautiful car is waiting here for me, look how stunning, I cannot deal. Dior fitting next, just arriving actually, so let's do this. My sister just texting me asking when am I leaving and honestly I'm currently in a really nightmare situation I am packing and I realized I got so many new things here I purchased some stuff, I got gifted some stuff For example, I got something from Linda Farrow I didn't even have a chance to unbox it yet Their sunglasses are always also the most incredible I'm so excited, it's so luxuriously packed As you can see Inside are these babies they're orange. They're super cool for Fashion Month, I would say. Very cool. So huge thanks to Linda Farrow. I got quite a few things that I'm so grateful for. It is just that I don't know where am I going to pack it all. Fabulous. So currently, because I ordered also Nita Forte and my Teresa, I wanted to like do a whole kind of like wardrobe, showing you guys everything I got, maybe even like little dressing situation, a styling outfit, but honestly it was not even possible to do that because um, I had zero free time, zero, couldn't do anything I really wanted. I got like obviously, I prioritized, so I did a bit of socializing, sorry about that, it's crazy. I did a bit of socializing, but I kind of like had to do that because I enjoyed that and because I have a soul and because in my job like socializing is quite important i would say for the soul and for everything else so that's it now I'm trying to pack but it did not help the situation that i stopped by at bottega today i also obviously got fitted for the orange pendy but you'll have to see that in milan i want to show you what i got at bottega i mean i pre-ordered these pieces and then they arrived here we have a new handbag I just almost broke. The chain is removable, so most oh, glamorous unboxing you will ever see me do, but I'm kind of also in a rush. And I finally managed to get this pouch and chain. Very excited for that because I really wanted it and it's in black. I know it's super shocking to see me go for a bag in black color, but the reason being is that I actually do not own bags in black except for my Prada nylon and my very old Chanel boy. And then I got the new mules. They're insane, they're intercinato. They're pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but stunning. And what's the best thing about them is that Bottega used this new technology to make them super comfortable. They are extreme comfort basically and they have um they reuse the cashmere leftovers kind of thing to formulate it so that this bit is like super soft and padded and this is what they look like that's what i got before milan and paris i don't know when i'm gonna get my hair done hopefully tomorrow i have so much work to do i'm gonna try and do that on the train i'm gonna hope for the best and that's more or less it i just have to understand how am i gonna pack 
because I have so much going on. Even though I returned the Fendi pieces, like now I have the new Fendi pieces, the new Dior pieces that are lent to me for the show. I have um, a lot of net forte purchases in my Teresa and stuff like that, so. Drama. We are on the train. Okay guys, yesterday I was trying to show you on the train how like the slightly harder part of the fashion month after uh, checking out of my beautiful home at the Mayfair Hotel I had two suitcases I had one big suitcase one like rolling hand luggage I had one big duffel bag from Louis Vuitton and one massive net porte bag which broke and was full of stuff including my vanity bags so my idea <laughs> was that I'm gonna get a taxi go to Victoria Station with all of those bags alone buy train tickets head to the platform go through all the barriers because it's kind of a little bit like at the airport you have to like scan your tickets and stuff and then you go to the train then you have to load all the luggage on the train yourself and to be honest i do this on a weekly basis at least twice like i carry a lot of heavy stuff all the time so i'm kind of used to it and i just wanted to show you that it's not really like oh so glamorous like million suitcases beautiful clothes you arrive here and there it's actually like like when I packed, I was already so tired and sweaty because I was packing for two hours and I had so many new things, right? And then when I got on the train, like, you know, I have to keep an eye on my suitcases because you cannot have suitcases with you the whole like one hour to Brighton. I eventually got home and then I unpacked my clothes took all the dirty stuff out i did not leave it as tidy as i wanted to because at home i only had 11 hours and out of 11 hours i slept five so i spent four with my family because i missed my nephew so much i cannot even tell you and my little one is growing too fast that i'm just worried i'm gonna miss the crucial moments you know i basically spent some time with the dam spoke to my sister spoke to sandra on the phone for an hour to henry on the phone like for an hour like so kind of socialized in a way as well and then i packed for milan and now i'm here so next video that you see probably is gonna start from here again so hope you're gonna enjoy it and hope you don't mind that the ending is a bit like mm. i did try my best but i have really good news for you guys nina's going to be with me in milan so i think the content is gonna be different it's gonna be better i'm gonna try harder and um yeah we go from milan straight to paris and from paris i finish on like 2nd of march or something like that Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for, you know, just being part of this journey. It means so much to me. I hope you enjoyed this London Fashion Week video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.